in this video we're going to look at the Audi Q3 Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and everything inside and outside it. Stay tuned. Hi, welcome to Tech in the Car. In this video I'm going to show you around the new Audi Q3. I'm at Eastbourne Cappins Audi so please pay them a visit if you're after a new or used car from Audi. In this video, I'm gonna show you around the Audi Q3. This is the edition model with 230 horsepower. So the first thing you'll notice here is how large the front grille is, and you'll see the integrated driving assist features, the parking sensors down here, and then to the side, the driver assistance with adaptive cruise control and lane assist. And you can see there's large vents at the front, Again with another parking sensor. And if we come up a bit, you can see the front LED lights with the daytime running lights. These are really cool daytime running lights with the LED headlights. And you can see the little details here inside the light, which are really, really interesting to see. Here we have the 20 inch alloy wheels. These are special Audi Sport Edition wheels. And you can see the matte finish and the mirrored diamond cut spokes. These are very cool wheels, I have to be honest, I like the design a lot. You can see the S-Line logo on the side here. The matching door mirrors to the car color. And this is Mythos Black. Here at the rear of the car, you can see the LED rear tail lights. And the design of the rear bumper. We've got the reversing camera here. And you can see the model, the 45 TFSI Quattro. And you can see these scooped body lines over the rear. They look very muscular, very sporty. There are roof racks as well. Here we have the rear of the car. As you can see, there is a lot of space back here. There's a lot of leg room as well. Passengers in the rear. There's also a pass-through ski hatch. So if you want to pull down the back seats, you can. Sitting in the back here, I have a lot of space for my legs. I can quite comfortably sit back here. You can see there is also on this model a panoramic sunroof, which goes all the way back which makes it a lot lighter and area in the car, which is always really good. At the front here, you can see the climate controls as well. You can also see other features of the car, such as the electronic handbrake, the auto hold. You've got two cup holders and the 12 volts. In the front there, you also have the buttons for the various modes and settings. The other thing you can see here is you've got your USB standard and you've got your USB type C, USB 2. So you've got two USBs in the front. Up top here, we have two LED lights. We've got a SOS emergency button and the sunroof controls. These seats are electric seats with forwards and backwards and upwards adjustment and lumbar support as well. Inside the car here, you can see the light controls, auto for the front light and the rear lights. Looking at the steering wheel, you have your view, your controls for the virtual cockpit, your voice control, phone, and your... By the car here, you can see the various buttons for modes. You've got the drive select, traction control on and off. You've got your hazard warning light, your rear parking sensors. This design of dashboard is very cool. It's got this triangular, squarish shape at the top here with the, with the air vents. And then underneath it is the large touchscreen. 
and then it angles away at the side a bit and you can tell that it's got a nice metallic finish it also has upside down door opening handles and you can see the mood lighting as well the audi q3 infotainment system this is a large touchscreen if we look through the settings we have radio media telephone navigation phone apps car shortcuts and settings on the second screen we have help user messages news legal and weather if we swipe down from the top you can see the setup wizard which will help you go through all the settings you can tap on the connect devices quick settings to go into those you can tap on your speaker volume and you can adjust the bass and treble and change the sounds and you can move this down and adjust the balance the subwoofer and the focus so it's at the front rear or all over you can adjust the surround sound level as well and 3d sound and this is a bang and olufsen speaker system in this particular model let's go into radio you can see we've got dab digital radio that i can scroll through and see all the radio stations this is how it works on an audi if we go into music you can put an sd card in so you can listen to mp3s off your sd card or you can change the source to a connected external device or you can connect online media as well you can use android auto and carplay which i would demonstrate for you as well phone settings you can connect a sim card directly and use it to make direct phone calls or you can connect your mobile phone with Bluetooth or Android Auto and CarPlay. We're going to Navigations. This is the navigation system for Audi. And you can see it's using a Google Earth overview so you can tell where everything is. You can change the angle and move it around. It's a very intuitive system. I can adjust the scale if I want to like this. Of course, I can zoom with pinch and zoom as well. If we go back to the home screen, phone apps is Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which I will demonstrate to you. Car is the car settings. So I can change the drive select. And there is a button down at the bottom here, which will let me do it as well. But I can choose between efficiency, comfort, auto, dynamic, and individual. Individual allows you to manually set how you want it. So if you want the drive system dynamic, so quicker responding, or efficient to save fuel, or however you would like the steering, whether again, it's dynamic, so it's more direct, balanced, or more comfortable, which is uh, easier to steer. And it's got a very cool animation there showing the car. Shortcuts allow you to save shortcuts to your home screen. So in this case, it's only set up with home. Settings are the individual settings. So I can go into these, I can adjust the time, I can give, make it give me a reminder if I leave my phone in the car. I can adjust the display and brightness of the virtual cockpit. I can make it brighter or less bright. If I'm writing a different language, I can change the on-screen keyboard. We've already mentioned the sound. There was a quick shortcut at the top, but you can go into it directly this way as well. Announcements and sounds are if the car is speaking to you, for example, during navigation. System maintenance, it will do automatic updates. You can adjust your media settings. Privacy settings, privacy is very important. You can adjust it so your data is not shared. And you can adjust your notifications as well so you only get alerts for things which you think are important. And help will give you usage tips. Messages will show you your messages if there are any. So that's an overview of the MMI settings and options. I'm now gonna plug my phones in and show you Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and then we'll have a look at the virtual cockpit. I've now connected my iPhone to the MMI. Would you like to use this functionality? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. 
that is how you connect Apple CarPlay. Finish setting it up in the settings. Enable wireless CarPlay. This is what Apple CarPlay looks like. You've got your Apple Maps here. You can see, just like you can see on any Apple Maps, down the side here you have your various quick settings. I can go into music. And I can scroll through my music. I can go back to the main overview. I can scroll through, we have Google Maps. And it's just beautiful on this display. Very, very high quality, very clear, very easy to see. No doubt about it. We can go into the settings. I can change the appearance. These are phone settings, but just so you're aware how they work, I can change my wallpaper. Let's go for that set. And then let's go back here. And now I have this green and blue wallpaper, which matches the brightness of the interior with the sunroof very well. That is what Apple CarPlay looks like. Let's now check out Android Auto. And this is also wireless Apple CarPlay. So let's have a look at Android Auto now. It's asking me if I want to connect. Yes, I agree. Now I'm in Android Auto. I accept the settings on my phone. And now I'm in Android Auto. Navigate to Caffin's Audi Eastbourne. Navigating to Caffin's Eastbourne Audi. I'm at Caffeine's Eastbourne Audi now. They're letting me do this filming, so please pay them a visit and they can help you with your Audi needs. So we've got Google Maps, we've got Waze as well. Apple Music on an Android device. I can scroll through my apps and settings just as you saw before. I can go into Spotify if I don't want to use Apple Music or YouTube Music. I can see my notifications. That is what Android Auto looks like. This is the Audi virtual cockpit in the Audi Q3. I can scroll through the settings like this. I can see my Android Auto car connected. I can see my consumption, my short-term memory, long-term memory, energy consumers, which tell me if I'm using energy right now, the air conditioning is on. I can see the driver assist settings and I can see the traffic sign assist. Let's scroll through again. We go back to navigation and I can zoom in and I can zoom out. And I've always liked that you can zoom all the way out to see the entire globe, which is very cool. So the other thing you can do to change your view is you can have the instruments large or smaller depending on your preference and you can scroll through the settings on here through there as well i can choose between the onboard computer or reduced display so i don't need to see anything in the middle when i go into the map settings i can see my last destinations my favorites the map orientation the zoom and the map content whether i want to have certain points of interest or whether i don't that's what the virtual cockpit on the Audi Q3 looks like. Steering wheel here, you see that little star button. That little star button is the shortcut setting. I can change the shortcut settings on the main menu here for the steering wheel button to any of these, a voice guidance, navigation, traffic messages, turn the traffic sign, recognition on and off as well. So you've got a lot of control there. I really do like the interior of this. It's very, very nice. All of it has great attention to detail. I hope you enjoyed that video on the Audi Q3. Please visit Caffin's Eastbourne Audi if you're after a new or used Audi. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.